Alrighty guys and welcome back to more Tokyo Mirage Sessions. It has nearly been two weeks since I last recorded anything. I am at the new place recording some good old, re you know, Tokyo Mirage Sessions and this is the first session of me recording Tokyo Mirage Sessions at the new place. So this should be interesting. It looks like we got a door, maybe a mini boss. Maybe, maybe not. All I know is I've been itching to, you know, play this game as well as Stellar Glow in the past couple of weeks. Now that we're fully moved in, it's time to get it. It's time to go crazy with this game. Why does this look like a trap? I'm just saying this looks like a trap, my dude. <laughs> so you know what? Before we go any further, we're going to use... K K yeah, she Kidia. Kidia! She has a skill that can detect traps, so we're going to immediately take advantage of it. I'm going to use Light Toma. Suspicious errors are now lit up. So let me look at the map. Is that a suspicious area? I don't even know if that's a suspicious thing. I guess it's just part of the map. Okay. Nice. Now we can teleport here. Nah. Leave that there for now. So it looks like we can jump down. Or we can come over here and see what's up these stairs. Oh, it looks like we can't because this is in a way. We can't break it from that side. So we got to find a way to get to the other side. And the only other path is to literally jump down here. Yeah. Let's see what's popping. Oh man, there's a camera over. Oh yeah. my god, I whiffed it. Oh no, he punished me, dude. The enemy punished me for whiffing my attack, dude. That's what I get. No footsies, my dude. Abyss. So a Baculus. Weak against wind. Weak against Bufu, weak against, I think, I don't know what that, I think it's light. I don't know what that, the last two are. I know the last one is element. I don't, I don't know what that second to last one is. Okay, I guess what we'll do is horse slayer as that is. Oh, I'm burning. Come on, let's go. Abyss force obtained. Madden Cannon. Oh, come on. Don't be falling for those, those silly charming enemies dude when an ally is afflicted with a status element charm he or she will be uncontrollable and perform random actions such as attacking allies and using healing items on enemies yeah we know all about this this element may heal over time but if any allies have looked it with charm it's best to treat them yeah yada yada come on let's do it follow up and now what she can do is Wufu, and he should follow up, right? No, he only follows up if Itsuki follows up. Let's do it. Let's clutch it. Damn, we needed a little bit more. What is he gonna do? Oh, he's, he decided not to do anything. That's the best thing about Char. <laughs> That's the most positive thing that could happen. So now we about to tear him up with a fire strike and it's game over. Dive kicked on his ass with a fire strike. Let's go Toma. Put in that work. Nice. Haydal, Abyss Force, and Bacillus. Bacillus. Toma, let's get a good level up here. Toma, you... you <laughs> You must have not heard me, dog. I said let's get a good level up. Come on, Subasa. Make up for that loss. Woo! Yeah, her magic went up by three. I assume, like, in the red means that there's an equipment that lowers their strength or magic right now. Or maybe that means that indicates, like, perhaps. Perhaps it means those stats are falling behind, and then she just got plus three in magic, so maybe that's what that means. I don't know. But I still think it's an accessory that's like downgrading that stat. Maybe. We can check right now to be sure. Uh, we go to wardrobe. Uh, that's not it. Da -da 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 -da. Special hairpin. Yeah, look at that. Whatever she has on right now. Bracelets of eternity. Razor ZP, lower strength and magic. And she gets plus three magic. Hmm, maybe lowering your equipping accessories that lower your stats actually may be good. Because as you know, there's like a catch-up mechanic in this game where if your main if your main stat is lower than other stats, the game will just 
pretty much run his algorithm and try to catch that you know that lower stat up. It would try to catch it up. So maybe if we equip lower uh, equipment that lowers our stats, maybe the game will be forced to think just to force to give us a certain stat on our level up if we lower that stat through equipment. I don't know. Yeah, I think it'd be interesting if it worked like that. But uh, right now. I think we're just gonna keep her bracelet of eternity on. School life. We can actually change her. Let's just change everybody's costume. I think they're ready. Um, Argyle. We haven't had that on for too long. Urban Wild. Solid Punk. Yeah, well, let's actually go back with the OG stuff. Let's go to the OG stuff real quick. Everybody's got their OG stuff equipped now. So, here we go. Yeah. Get over you dummy. Alright, we're not gonna fight. We're gonna try to get through this dungeon. Wow, that actually really helps. The light Toma. It shows like the angle of which the camera's ang uh, you know, angled at. Oh my god, I'm glad. Back up. Back up, fools. Ooh, we got a chest. What we got here? We got us some discharm, boys. Looks like there's a camera up there. Miraji. Ooh, get smacked up. Here we go. Break it. Break it, break it. Break it, break it. I'm going Michael on you. <laughs> Alright, get out of here. Let's just try to bypass them as quick as possible. And if you notice, if you look at the last video, I did like spend some time off camera just leveling up some of my crew. Level one up my uh, party, um, just to pretty much be able to record and get through certain areas faster. I don't want to just drag through here and just fight so many enemies on camera, you know. So boom. So I know we came from over there. We jumped down. Like too much just to be active. Yep. Alrighty, damn, the angles of these cameras though, they try to get you in this dungeon. Okay, Night Life Flicker. Wait, we just got Performa from a chest? Oh god. I think we're gonna have to backtrack and open up a lot of chests if we're getting Performa from chests. I didn't... That was not in my mind. I didn't even consider that. We have a treasure key. I didn't consider that we actually might find Performa in the chest. We got some chocolate pot. Chocolate of recovery. Pass the chocolate pot. Come on, man. Pass that chocolate bomb. <laughs> you got chocolate pot, but is there chocolate blunts? <laughs> Why would they name it chocolate pot? Can we get some chocolate blunts? You know? Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and use Light Toma again so we don't screw ourselves over. Light Toma helps us look through the traps that light up. Hey man, stay away, stay away my dude, stay away. You ain't trying to catch these hands right now, trust me. Nope. You ain't trying to catch these hands right now, trust me. Oh god, oh, oh my god. Okay, we're gonna fight them, we're gonna fight them. I think these guys we can definitely fight because we have this group of enemies right here. I think I know what they are because I've been, I was actually farming the savage enemies for experience and if they're the same savage enemies we should be able to win pretty easily like once you know like the different matchup once you know like the different enemies weaknesses and stuff it gets super easy all you need to do is bring in the according character so every time you switch uniforms they do that let's get it Oh yeah, we can beat these guys. Um, I don't really need to use full throttle at all. So what we'll want to do, I'm actually gonna do this. Oh yeah, we can guarantee to kill this guy. So we can't kill all three of them. Itsuki by himself will be able to kill him off of a uh, session attack, and we wouldn't be able to kill him, but we would be able to prevent his attack. So we're gonna attack him because he's after Kidia and Kidia after she attacks after Kidia and Toma attacks we'll be able to kill him so yeah and then the blob dude we're not gonna worry about him because he's always going to use Rakunda regardless of the situation 
So, what we want to do is just force slayer the next guy. And off of a session attack, they should die if nobody damages too low. Oh, there we go. So, boom, that's one of them. That's fine. We'll live. A lot of damage, but we'll live. So now it's our turn. We want to Bufu, the guy we attacked with Toma. And that's going to start a session attack and should kill him. And the other dude, we're only going to have to worry about maybe one Miragi or maybe a Dormina, but we should be able to live it regardless. And then he's going to use Rakunda regardless, so it's easy once you know what to do. So yeah, you're done. Ain't nobody scared of no savage enemies. Mm, get that shit out of here. Once you download them, it's, it's free. It's so free once you download them. Mm. Follow me! Boom, mm, making savage encounters look mad easy. Since 1991. You, you supposed to be savage? <laughs> Alrighty, so that guy is now dead. See how easy that was, guys? Anyway, let's keep moving here. Back up. We should actually heal, because they did do some damage to us. Like, when you get into a savage encounter, I think it's best to just reduce the amount of attacks coming your way. So, don't try to just attack random enemies. You should focus on, like, killing at least one or two of them. Because they usually come in groups. And they can hit you hard with AoEs like that? Like, man, it's not worth it. Did I just go in a circle, by the way? I don't even know, fam. I don't even know. I feel like I did. I feel like I just went in a circle, my dude. Oh my god. Please. Please, I'm lost. Okay, that's that. Over here was that. Oh my god, please. Up here was this. We broke this barrier, and now we can come down here. Okay. I guess we jump down here. I feel like we already went this way, though. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't think we did, though. No, yeah, we did, because we opened that. Back up, fool. Okay. Come over here. I think we broke this, right? Now look at that, there's a chest right here. Alright, so we got another treasure key. Let's use it. It might be some performer, let's see. Roaring earplugs. Hmm. Let's see what those are for. Those have to be some kind of decent stuff. It has to be something good. Mage ring. Raises speed, lowers defense, and resist. Oh my god, that speed just goes so high. So for three, for negative three defense and resistance, it's actually not too bad. That's not that bad of a trade-off. Kedia actually might really benefit from that. Her speed is really bad, but she has decent resistance and already decent defense. Mm, I wouldn't say decent defense, but her defense isn't as great as everybody else's. Well, yeah, I think it'll be worth it. Plus seven more armor too, and then that speed. Yeah, she needs to be able to be speedy too with everybody else. So yeah, we'll make we'll give her the earphone or the earplugs. Alrighty. Alright. Now I feel like this is where I loop myself around. Whew. Oh my God, are we going the right way or not? I need to know. <laughs> where am I? Okay. So there's two ways we can jump down right now. Alright, I'm looking at the map. Okay. So there's a stairway, like, I think beneath us. Alright. I don't like the fact that the mini-map is not on the screen. I have to look separately at the Wii U gamepad. It's... I don't, I don't really like the design of that. It's really annoying, to be honest. To constantly have to move my neck around like that. Alright, here we go. Light Toma. Alright, so let's jump down. We probably picked the wrong one. Oh no, there's a chest over here, so I guess it wasn't really a, 
a wrong decision as just a little distraction. 10,000 yen, oh yeah, a little distraction of 10,000 yen. A small loan of 10,000 yen. Man, that was totally worth it. <clears throat> so now we can actually take a shortcut. Boom. We just have to walk through this again. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Hit my damn hand on here. Alrighty, so we made it all the way back up here. We're gonna see what's off of this one. Let's see where we jump to. What did we jump to? We jumped over here. Is there any chest? Nope. So that was one of the sides we could check. We're in a new area, I just don't know where this- Oh my god, the dude almost- Dude try to get me. He try to get me. Back up, fam. I'm trying to do puzzles. I'm trying to do some navigation. Back up, pal. Back up. Ooh, resistance incense. Nice. So that's going to increase whoever's resistance by three. In reality, I should just give it to Kedia to balance what that what she just equipped. So yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Actually, she she probably will get like a resistance up. And like a, a really big resistance upgrade. Since we downgraded her stats by three, I'm thinking maybe because of that, she'll actually level up with her, her resistance pretty high because we, you know, downgraded her stats through that uh, accessory. <laughs> Nothing over here. My god, can I like... Hover up, oh, yeah. I like this camera view way better. So there's some stuff we actually can get down here. Let's go check it out. There might be something we missed. Do back up. So we need to get over there. It looks like. All right. We didn't really miss anything yet, so let's keep going this way. Light Toma's effects wore off. Let's throw in Light Toma once again. Just navigating these dungeons are actually not that, not that bad as long as you don't run into 6,000 encounters. Oh, is that a savage encounter? Oh yeah, guess what time it is, boys. Time to teach these savage people. How savage we can get. If we if there's any savage encounters, we're gonna keep trying to get into them. As long as you know, as long as I know their weaknesses, we'll keep trying to get in the fights with savage encounters or savage enemies. Hopefully they don't go first. Let's go. Akagi Toma. Akagi. Nice, we're all going before. So, we can definitely kill two of them here. We're gonna get hit. Yeah, we're gonna get this guy out the way. Uh, and Kitty is gonna follow up with some Bufu action. Mm. Mm. There we go. Horse Slayer. Oh, yeah, we're gonna guarantee his death. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You're done. What you doing now? Uh -huh. 61. Good stuff. So now, Rakunda, we just have to deal with one more attack. He did Miragi, that's fine. As long as we got full health, we can never die to that. Unless we have really bad resistance. So, yep, yeah, we got it. See how easy these savage fights are? Like, once you understand, like, the flow and what, what attacks you have to do in order to just take advantage of them. Don't run them. If only there was a way to speed up animations. Because watching the same animations over and over again. Hopefully, you can do that later in the game. Ooh, we got a Maka Leaf. A Maka Leaf, huh. Let's see how far her uh, resistance go up. I have a feeling her resistance is actually going to skyrocket like by two or three. I lied. 
Okay, maybe that's not exactly how, you know, I was thinking things would go, but you know what I, you know what I was trying to go for, guys. That's fine. Looks like we made it to a teleporter. Boom, boom. War portal has been unlocked. I'm gonna stay right here. It looks like we have maybe a boss, a mini boss at that. So we're gonna actually save our game and we're gonna deal with this boss right here, right now. Just navigating through it isn't that bad, to be honest. It's just fighting constant enemies. It's just a dangerous presence beyond this door. Well, first of all, let's not be dummies. Let's heal using Subasa. She has like a lot of S or she has a lot of EP. So we're gonna have her heal us. Boom, 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 boom. And now we're gonna save, and now we're gonna get into this next fight. So Kedia has a lot of speed. We'll want that speed for sure. You know this is a boss encounter. It just says boss on the door. It literally says boss. Not exactly, not literally, but literally. <laughs> oh, hello. Uh oh, what we got? What we looking at here, boys? What the? Boy. Why do I have a feeling they are not supposed to be wearing this and in the Japanese version they have like different clothing on? Mirage. And Performa. Oh my god, it's the eye guy. It's the eye guy, that should be the boss name. It, the eye guy. Okay, it looks like we gotta deal with idiots. What is she saying? The dark shaman. Yeah, we gotta get dude. Yeah, you out of here, dog. Yes. <laughs> you out of here. One of y'all out of here, I tell you that. Uh huh. There we go. There we go. Uh huh. So that's one last dude we gotta deal with. Tarukaja. We can debuff him. We can debuff him with a Dukunda. What the? He gets the buff. Th oh yeah. Dukunda. Oh yeah. Catch this dude. Catch this Dukunda. <laughs> Catch this Dukunda real quick, my dude. Like, this is not even a game. Oh wait, wait, wait. Oh no. Dukunda. No. What's the other one? Is it Rekunda? Oh my god. Clap track. Well, I don't know what these guys are strong or weak against. I'm actually gonna try Mazio really quick. Nice! Uh, Mazio for the win. Uh. Alright. So we already tried fire, ice. Maybe Zahn. I'm thinking Zahn might actually work. So what I'm actually gonna do, I'm actually gonna change over to Subasa for this fight. She's very... she's like the lowest level ally we have, but I'm thinking Zahn might work here. Let's go, Zahn. <laughs> That's what they did. That's what it did. That's what that damage was. It was... She should be able to endure if she takes any damage. Order snipers. The arrow is ice? What? What was that? And then he gets the- Oh, hell no. I ain't having this. I am not about to have this. Dark archer, please. Something's gotta damage these guys. There we go. Mazio again, please. Electric wind! Win the blizzard! Let's go! Let's go, baby! Now you know what your turn is. He's probably gonna call more goons, so... Let's actually heal Kiria. Kiria. Kirito. Ooh. Damn, she didn't... He continues to attack? What is this? What is this nonsense, my boy? What is this nonsense? I need to get somebody up. 
so we're gonna spicy. We get Toma has to come in, my. He has to definitely come in. Toma just has to come in. That's BS. He gets to attack like twice, my dude. So what I'm actually gonna do here, for sure, Toma's gonna switch places with Kidia and then heal Toma. Or heal... He's gonna heal Itsuki. This dude gets to attack twice. And then we're doing like... We, we don't know his weakness right now, which is like... Very frustrating. We just gotta, we just have to know what his weakness is. Alright, we'll switch in Toma. And we're going to immediately heal. We're gonna use... We're gonna use... Moderately restores the HP's. Huh, we got that Makalu. The B chain does the same thing. So we're gonna energy drink Itsuki really quick. Yes. One strike, eh? Alright, fire strike, see if that works. What did it say he was weak against? He's weak against sword attacks. Kunda. Sword lunge. Alright, so we're gonna need him for damage. So, on our next turn. That's fine. That's fine. So, I think we're gonna get uh, our girl up to play, to play an extra special role. Tsubasa, please. Get up. You're going to heal everybody, my dude. They'll use that Maka Leaf. I mean, why not at this point? Okay. <laughs> My boy. Okay, does this weakness change every time? Hold up. Hold up. Now he's weak against... Hold on, hold on. Maybe it's because I did Empty Wave. For one round. Ah. I need to find his weakness. It's probably ice, maybe. I need to find like a magic resistance. Hopefully, uh, let's see. 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 I need to. I need to keep doing damage, and it looks like Toma is going to be the guy that does it right now because he's. This boss is freaking. Pretty much weak against. He's naturally weak against spears. So, what I'm actually gonna do is use an ice pack for everybody. I know I got plenty of those. Yup. <laughs> oh yeah, them ice packs. <laughs> poison skewer. I hear in this game you can poison bosses. Let's try our luck. <laughs> There we go, we got something going. C probably wants to just guard for now and just react to whatever happens next. Oh my god, did we really poison him? Oh my god. Do y'all see how OD that was? We got him poisoned and then the fight just became free as fuck. <laughs> Yo, shout outs to that man that gave me that tech about you can poison bosses in this game this is just broken persona q if you can poison every boss fam i'm i'm just gonna spam poison moves you don't understand how great that is he's he was losing 300 hp per time he went weakness is his greatest enemy or poison is his greatest enemy right now we just won the game because of that we literally just won the game so i'm not even gonna use that i'm just at this point at this point, I'm just gonna zeal. Zeal, magic is his greatest strength right now. Yeah, you're done. Hamstring. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's go. 
That poison. God damn. Why can't you poison bosses in this game? It was looking real grim, but hey. <laughs> Turn up. <laughs> Turn up for Toma. <laughs> Toma, man. Toma is that dude. He's that boy of this game. Ooh. 14 HP and then 3 EP. That's good. 12, 6, 1, 2. He's always getting some double digit. He's always getting twos in his skill. It's really good. His skill is pretty high. Stay drink up. Kidia's Kurono soul as an entertainer has achieved a new awakening. Eyes on me. Doesn't that sound familiar? Eyes on me. That sounds like yeah, eyes on me from Final Fantasy VIII. What is what is y'all doing? What is y'all doing? What is y'all doing? I think y'all slip. Yo, that poison though. <laughs> that poison though. <laughs> Yo, that poison clutched it, man. Maybe the chances are higher if they're weak against. Because. As you've seen, like, we had Poison Skewer, and basically that's a land skill. So if they're weak against land skills and we use po Poison Skewer, I wonder if we get a greater chance to land Poison. I don't know how that works. So... Itsuki and the others have rescued the kidnapped models and had their way with them. That was a horrible joke, I apologize. Not. Nah. 